Hello, hello, Anthemers, Anthemites, Anthemers, Anthemites. Huh. Go ahead and enter in the comments down below which you would like, Anthemers or Anthemites. Hello, hello to Sounding Smart. My name is Alexander, and I'm gonna be doing a React video. You know, I haven't actually done a React video in a long time. It's been a while. I'm going to react to fictional anthems from film and TV. Now, I have heard of a few of these anthems, but it has been a while. So let's go ahead and take a look now, shall we? All right, the anthem of Genovia from The Princess Diaries. Let's take a look at this. Okay, kind of your standard. Yeah, it's that, what is that, eight, nine, is that, that's like a tenth. All right, so Anthem of Genovia from The Princess Diaries. This specifically, I think, from The Princess Diaries 2. I actually really like the movie. Now, I actually grew up with this movie. It's actually a, a favorite of mine. The music is very Western-based. The lyrics kind of just span mostly about the land. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of your standard cliche anthem. I mean, nothing really that sticks out to me. Although, I mean, to really get up to not an octave jump but from a ninth and then going up to an, a tenth i mean that's a big leap for a lot of singers uh but you know what i i enjoy it it's nice to sing and i know that there's a lot of us who grew up with this uh with this movie uh but yeah very well done who wrote the music for this john Debney. you actually did really good work sir i i applaud you that that was a good national anthem i really do enjoy it all right next one the anthem of krakosia from the movie the Terminal, starring Tom Hanks, and music composed by THE John Williams. This is gonna be fun, let's check it out. Very Eastern European. Oh, John Williams, you genius. All right. I like it. Very well done. And I have seen the movie, and I have heard this anthem. And this is just a great anthem. I, I mean, I wish there was a... I, I wish there was a, a, a second a second verse and anything. I wish there were lyrics because this is fantastic. I would love it if John Williams wrote a new anthem for my channel. Oh, that would be such a dream. I really love it. Um, but yeah, this this is definitely an uh, this is definitely a good one. All right, next one, the Fire Nation anthem. Fire Lord, my flame burns for thee. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, not much I can really get out of this. If only uh, there were more. Yeah, I just, uh, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Avatar Last Airbender. I've read the comics. I grew up with the TV show. I've read the Kiyoshi books. I'm a huge fan. I need to hear a little bit more in order to get my, um, to get my full opinion on it. But from what I see, I just kind of, I don't like it. It doesn't sound very Fire Nation from what I got from the show. It's, they're very conservative, they're easily, they're an easily offended nation, so you got to be careful with protocol. Probably would recommend an anthem which comprises that of maybe Japan, maybe something like North Korea's, so, something around the mix along the line. What do you think? How would you like the Fire Nation's anthem to sound like? Go ahead and enter in the comments down below. All right, next one, The Rescuers. Rescue Aid Society. Oh, The Rescuers! I used to love this movie when I was a kid. All right, let's take a listen. <laughs> <laughs> 
starting now. Starting in C. Hmm. Risky is society. Oh, I love it! Hands held high, touch the sky. that cute you had this was a great anthem who did this i want to know ann robbins and carol connors brilliant work from the rescuers Di walt disney's rescuers from 1977 it's cute it's basic it's simple it's catchy uh, you know and sometimes it's always simplicity at its finest everyone and this is great work i really did enjoy it um it's cute, especially for an organization. They really emphasize um, its cause when it comes to rescuing children or, or, or what the what the film is uh, story is. And I love how they incorporated the the spelling of the word rescue to really emphasize the cause as said. But well done, well done, very well done. Next one, the NAAFP, the National Anthem for the Advancement of Fat People, Family Guy. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I I was a big fan of Family Guy. Yeah, um, let's go ahead and listen to this. Stand up, all fat men, stand up straight. Stand up because no chair can hold your weight. <laughs> if God created us to be so big, God's real flabby with an ass so wide. His arms look like pillows with cakes inside. Oh, the voices! God's exceptional. Boobs are flabby. God's neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> is fantastic oh i love it the voicing is spectacular i mean who wrote the music you know what? i'm guessing it must have been walter murphy and ron jones because they're usually the um the dynamic duos of family guy and they just did an exceptional job with this uh i mean of course being such composers in a very popular uh animated series an adult animated series having to go from one different kind of genre of uh, music to another. I have to say, great job to both of them. Uh, it's just something about this national anthem, which because it, it really lacks a majority of unison, it really just shows that the harmonies are so various and complex uh, and they just really stand out. I am so glad that this anthem was made. Of course, I mean, with something about fat people I mean, it, it i mean the lyrics were hilarious come on uh and uh but bear with me on the lyrics the lyrics do show a um kind of a representation uh and uh of people um it also uh represents a bit of a kind of a, a religious perspective you know incorporating god and what god means to um to those represented in the amp <laughs> to have a connection uh, with with the uh, with the organization uh, this is really well done uh, i love the voicing and the harmonies behind it all uh, the progressions spot on i love it holy cow that was great that was great i'm having so much fun <laughs> all right next one kazakhstan you very nice place
This is from Borat. Now, I actually haven't seen all of Borat. I've seen clips constantly of it, and, and Sacha Baron Cohen is funny. He is funny and fantastic and a fantastic actor. Uh, <laughs> those lyrics, man. Um, yeah, I mean, the sound of, I mean, the sound and the score, I mean, it's in relation to uh, when it was part of the Soviet Union. But wow, <laughs> uh, those lyrics are quite something. You, you know, let me go ahead and check something here for a little bit. I, I want to go ahead and see something. How in the world does the fictional Kazakhstan anthem have more views than the actual anthem of Kazakhstan? That makes no sense. Actually, I mean, to be honest, it kind of does make sense. But I, I mean... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am loving this. This is great. Uh, next one, let's go ahead and check it out. Anthem from the Broadway musical Chess. No man, no madness, though their sad power may prevail. This is a very well done anthem. I feel like it can be incorporated into to everyone and about their country. Instrumental. We got a little bit of a break. done well written well scored um as i said it could apply to everyone to any anthem the thing is i know in some cases when it comes to anthem at the very end the singer does often try to i think they up the fifth in the very end and that is a smart move first off if you actually could sustain it uh but uh this is by far a very moving anthem and a very good one uh, I believe it was uh, Bjorn Oveus, I think I would pronounce it. And of course, Tim Rice as well, uh, who is also uh, one of the lyricists, who did an incredible job. If you don't know who Tim Rice is, he did a lot of uh, uh, Disney 
uh, Disney music uh, for, for many of the Disney films. He did the, some of the lyrics and some of the uh, the music as well. So, I mean, that that's just great, uh, great work. All right there. So, yeah. Oceania Tis For Thee from the uh, 1984 movie. All right. Now, I actually have never seen the movie. Don't shoot me. But I know about it. It's uh, it starred uh, Sir John Hurst, of course, the war doctor from Doctor Who, and um, Olive Anders from Harry Potter. And uh, I heard that he did such an exceptional job as Winston. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. I've actually never heard this. This is going to be exciting. I am curious. There is a mention of the anthem in the book. And I have like two copies of the book somewhere. However, in his present position, he was invisible. Oceania, tis for thee, gave way to lighter music. Okay, so I'm going to really go ahead and uh, focus on that. So let's go ahead and take a look. Because it feels like that's pretty much all that um, is said about the um, about the anthem. I mean, I, I've read this book like four times. And it's just a phenomenal book. And I have a few others of his book, including Animal Farm, which is really, uh, really popular. and talks about, I think, uh, so the Soviet Union as well, or Soviet Russia. So let's go ahead and take a look, everyone. Hmm. Peaceful. What revolution? Ah! Big Brother is watching. All for you, mm. all for you, big brother. Well, every thought is yours. Deep think. Hmm. So far, I actually agree with this. Um, this is a, a good anthem for a kind of a bit of a dystopia. All right, I, I, it's, I think this is a perfect anthem for it. By how this anthem is portraying such a, su such a, uh, 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 an organization, it really has that double speak that Orwell describes in the book, where things aren't really as they are. But yeah, but yeah, this is a really good anthem. I, I really enjoy it, especially for its reason too. And it, it may be a, a crazy reason, but it's. It's perfect for that organ what that organization is really trying to convey uh, to its subjects. All right, looks like that's all of them. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for signing up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and follow. If you want me to react to any more fictional uh, anthems, especially from film and TV, enter in the comments. What other fictional anthems do you want me to uh, react to? I'd be happy to check some out. And uh, so go ahead, everyone. Also, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description box down below. Uh, hope to see you soon, everyone. And don't forget, explore, embrace, evolve, and take care of yourselves because you deserve it.